All right. And I guarantee you, even if you had been to a distillery, you haven't been to a craft distillery because there's not a whole lot in America. I'd be very surprised if you had, but um, this is the only craft distillery that you can tour in the state of California. There's only one other craft distillery in the state of California, and that is Anchor Steam. Uh, they have been craft distilling for quite a while now, but they kind of keep it, kept it under wraps. You can't go tour their spot. Um, but they've been making gin and whiskey for a little while now. We, we started about three and a half years ago. Um, and when I say craft distilling, uh, it's the same exact thing as craft brewing. You're just not concerned about making a lot of money. You're really concerned about making the best product that you possibly can. So um, we are making three different types of base spirits here um, and a couple varieties of two of the spirits. So we've got a gin, uh, our, our old road gin, and uh, we had some uh, sample bottles sitting out. Not to stop you guys to sample, but you can see what you're looking at. Um, before I get you guys excited, I can't let you guys taste anything. We can't sell it here. We can't oh, even have spirits on that side of the building. There are very harsh laws in California about distilling, so that might be another reason why there's not a whole lot of distilleries here. Um, but anyway, we make a gin that's been out for our entire existence. Gin's unaged spirits, so we didn't have to wait a few years in the barrel. Uh, we make a white rum, which has also been out for about two years. Uh, do you like it? Oh, yeah. 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 Nice, nice. So we, have you ever barrel-aged rum? No, no. We do make a barrel-aged rum, which is the exact same rum that you guys had, but aged in a brand new barrel for about two years. Um, and then we're gonna, we have uh, two types of whiskey on the way. That would be a American single malt whiskey and a California bourbon, which is a bourbon for all intents and purposes, just not made in Kentucky, so not in Bourbon County, so you can't officially call it bourbon. Um, the American single malt, um, most people hear single malt, they think scotch. Uh, it's not like a scotch at all. Uh, we use all brand new barrels here. Um, and the only other spirit that uses exclusively brand new barrels is bourbon. So uh, it gives a bourbon-like flavor, but um, they're inherently different because of what they're made from. So your single malt is going to be made from 100% malted barley, whereas bourbon is always made from a majority of corn. Um, and there are lots of differences in the flavor of those two distillates. So you actually, what the nice thing with our spirits is you can directly taste the difference of the ingredient that's used because the process is all the exact same. Uh, very much like beer making, you soak your grains in hot water, you extract the sugar, then you take that and ferment it up to a certain percentage. Then you take that and put it in the still. Alcohol boils off at a, a temperature about 172 degrees. So you keep the still at that temperature, obviously what water doesn't boil until 212, so your alcohol boils first, it rises up as vapor in the column, and then goes over to the, to the side there, which is a condensing cylinder, um, where we run cold water through, and that condenses that vapor back down to a liquid, and then you, it runs out here at a very high concentration, about 160 proof to 120 proof, um, and 100% clear. So, the same process for everything, especially our whiskeys, it's just that the only thing that differs is the ingredient, and they taste very different, so it's kind of neat in that sense. Um, the rum also it gets that bourbon-like flavor from the barrel aging. Um, uh, the gin is made from 12 different botanicals, orange peel, lemongrass, rose petal. You know, I, I don't know them all, but they're, it sounds very nice when I say it, you know. So uh, it tastes great, too, uh, if, you're, if, you're a gin, if you're a gin fan. I, my uncle's a big gin drinker, and he switched from our gin. So um, other than that, though, uh, the whiskeys aren't out to market yet. The uh, first batch of single malt should be out in about, should be out this month, I guess. But I don't know if that's actually going to happen. Um, we just got the first stock of uh, bottles, so it might be a month later. So but the bourbon will be out shortly, or the, the single malt will be out shortly. The bourbon will be out uh, probably three months after that. So um, that's pretty much the deal. Unless you guys have any other questions, happy to answer anything you guys got. But uh, other than that, you can. Uh, about 40 degrees, 40. yeah.